hello! Today I am here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a Google Free YouTuber and I have a cat down here that, yeah, is messing with things, okay? But like, I'm trying to get her to behave. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, can you see her? She's messing with my light I have back there. <laughs> this is Ines. This is our little map. This is our rag doll. Hey! And she doesn't want to be on camera, I guess. <laughs> She's a little bit like, no, you can't take my brushes. We will see if she can be here. I think not. I'm going to do like a little bit life update to game to game today again we will see how that will be i don't know maybe this is a long video maybe it's a short video i just wanted to talk about some things and i'm going to talk a little about weight and uh, stuff like that and if you are sensitive to that you don't need to watch this ines now she's in my lap. Yeah, where where are you going? I don't think this is... N no! <laughs> she wants to take like my beauty blender. She, before... Let's see if I can show you. She sewed on it. You can see here. This is like a favorite thing. With my other eye, I like gave up and gave it to her. Nej, men du, sluta. Då får du inte vara här. Do you have a toy somewhere? No, okay, and today I'm using the Escape Pod palette from Kaleidos. I'm going to do a pink, purple, purple look. Du, soon you're not allowed to be in here anymore. So I'm going to... Um, I think I will write down in the description which shadows I'm using. But I think I'm going to use these two and then maybe space vases and do like a cut crease. We will see. And first of all I want to update you on Astrid. Uh, our other cat, not this little cat that you saw. And... Uh, if you have been here, <laughs> we talked about that she has a, I haven't looked this up, a tight vessel, I think it's called what, vessel. Um, and uh, they were a little bit afraid that that was going to get worse the older she gets and like the f blood flow to the heart was going to be not as it should, so we did an ultrasound on her heart. Um, yeah, I don't know when you see this, but a little over a week ago. And thankfully, like the vessel and the flow was so good. <laughs> the vessel was still tight, but the flow was normal and like that lifted off so much anxiety for me. So that felt so good and she also has like a little hole in her heart but the vet said it's like the tiniest hole so they are not worried about that and I don't know if I can tell you how good it feels and like I was so nervous it was my boyfriend that was at the vet this time and like I just waited for him to come home and tell me what they said and yeah it feels so so good that she's like a normal cat I'm so happy for that but other than that I'm still not feeling like myself but I've been starting to take Okay, should I go in with the body things and weight things immediately? Just get it over with. I 
have gained... I don't know if I want to say a lot, but it is quite a lot of weight. The last... Three years, maybe. One of the reasons is because before I like trained four or five days a week and then I stopped training and I still ate the same so yeah and also I when I'm not feeling well I eat more and I've like tried to love the body I have but it is hard but I'm trying but like I have decided now that I want to do something about this I am sick of like feeling swollen? 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 I don't know if you get what I mean but I'm tired of that feeling so a couple of weeks ago I was like okay I'm going to Take better care of my body. It's not only that that I have not been comfortable within my body, but I have also not taken care of it that good. And I was like, okay, I want to eat better food, do not eat so much candy. It could have been like weeks that I ate candy each and every day. And I was just, that was making me feel more tired and I just want to feel better. And to be honest, I'm not getting any younger. So I decided like I need to do this now. So I've been doing that for a couple of weeks now. Just taking better care of my body. I haven't eaten candy or chips. I ate some ice cream yesterday. But that has like been it. And I have started to take some walks again and I have had a lot of anxiety and I'm feeling really low because of things that's going on in my life and for me to take in walks it is so relaxing. I am listening to podcasts and just minding my own business and that has been really good for me now and I can really like even though I'm listening to something and need to be concentrated it's like the only thing I think of is the podcast I'm listening to and everything else is just it's blocked for like an hour or so when I'm out walking and that feels so good to have like a break and I'm really happy with that, so it really clears my brain a little bit from time to time. And also like, since I was sick in, you know what, I, like my stamina <laughs> was so bad for like a long time after that, but now it's feeling like it's coming back like the first walks I took after I was feeling better it like after five minutes I was so tired like really really tired but it's finally getting better and it's <laughs> the weather outside is getting better as well but I actually bought a, is it called windbreaker in English? I think so. Like a jacket so I can be outside walking and when it's windy because I live near the ocean. <laughs> it's like windy 350 days of the year. So it has always been so cold when I'm out walking without a windbreaker. Is it called a windbreaker? I think so. So 
I don't know why I didn't buy that sooner. I don't know. I just really, really, really like it. And you know what? I really like this eyeshadow as well. Who am I? Who am I liking purple? And also I started to think like with my family I haven't met them since June Yeah, and I like first didn't like think it affected me that much but With everything that has been going on with my dad it has been really hard to not see my family. So. Yeah. And about my dad, I don't want to talk about it more. He's still in the hospital. They still are not 100% sure what is going on. And I have like been thinking like this pandemic, it doesn't affect me that much. But I starting to guess like over more than a year after it it does uh, my mom is have had her first shot of the vaccine so hopefully soon we can meet she's going to have one more in uh, may and i in sweden <laughs> i've seen like a lot of people in the us that are getting vaccinated even though they are young and not like in a risk group, risk zone. Uh, in Sweden it doesn't work like that. Um, I think it's a little bit depending on which county you live in or in which province you live in. Um, maybe, I don't know. But in Sweden it is like people that are... Let me take some of my cellar water and take away a little fallout I have. Do I want to talk about Sweden's vaccinating program? But just to know, because I've seen people in the US that are like younger than me that has been vaccinated, but in Sweden, I think they started to vaccinate people that are over 65 and older and persons in the risk groups. I think and also like people that work in hospitals and with elderly uh, like that but we normal younger people are not being offered to be vaccinated yet and because that I have the antibodies I am pretty far down the list I'm guessing so that is a little bit of a difference, but my mother is soon going to be vaccinated. So hopefully, I know it's not like 100% sure, but hopefully we can meet soon. We have to go like the recommendations, but we know. So it's going to be interesting to see how the summer will be. So far we haven't planned anything. So it felt like last year was just a big blob and I can't remember what happened. And okay, do you know what? I, I love this eyeshadow. Love it, like love it, love it, love it. Is purple the thing for me this year? I don't know. I'm just going to let this sit a little bit. I'm going to drink some Pepsi. Like my head hurts today. I don't think if it is because I haven't been drinking that good. It might. Or maybe that I haven't drink any energy drinks. Yes, I'm down to that again. I'm drinking energy drinks like a 15 year old. <laughs> I know it's not good for me, but I could do worse things to me. And another thing that I've talked a little bit about is that I want to be better to go to sleep earlier and I have actually been that. <sighs> and to be honest, I don't know if it has helped, but I think a little bit. And I'm just starting to feel 
a little bit better with everything. I still have days when like I come home from work and I don't have the energy to do anything. But yeah. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to put on this foundation and then I'm going to continue talk because I know the sound is maybe a little bit annoying. So yeah, go to bed a little bit earlier has helped. I'm still feeling kind of tired from day to day. But some days it is easier to go up in the mornings. So that is good. But some days I'm just... Okay, I'm... <laughs> I don't know how you feel if you have a work to go to and also struggling a little bit with anxiety but I am so happy that I still has my work to go to because I <sighs> when I'm at work it's like a little break it's a little like break from my own brain I don't know if you get what I mean but like I At work I'm usually like talk a lot and I make jokes and I have more energy at work and it feels like good to have that break from my normal negative filled wing anxiety myself and I am an introvert and Sometimes work like wears me out because her need to Talk to people all day or need a need but when you're sitting in an office with three other people It is a little bit strange to not say a thing for a day, but That is like One part of me is happy about it and one part of me is some days a little bit tired of it but it feels like I get a break from myself for, oh, from myself and I don't know, any of you feel that that I have the same like situation that I do and also the thing I like <laughs> we have to go to work is that I have to go up and I have to go out sometimes when I'm having a day off and it's only me at home some days they are really great I like go up in time I clean the apartment I fix things around the home but some other days when it's just me at home for a whole day I get nothing done And I know that it's sometimes good to just don't do anything, but I always feel like a little bit bad for not doing anything. Was this a little bit confusing? I'm not more confusing than it is here on my shell. And I am so like happy that I can't work from home, that I need to go to work. I honestly can't like even try to understand how it is for you that has been working from home like for over a year. My brother has not done that yet but I think almost and he's like it's so boring. In the beginning I felt it was really good like to do don't go up so early in the morning, work a little bit when you wanted to, take maybe a longer lunch. But now he's like sick and tired of it because he, he lives on his own and he just wants to meet other people so I like can't imagine how it would be to work from home. 
because I think a lot of us are like you are one person at home and you are one person at work and I when people like talk about that they want to be like have their own business and work from home I'm like no way in hell I want that because I know that most of the day I wouldn't like do anything okay now I'm going to take a purple blush from lethal I think I like this one okay I was planning on taking this highlighter from Colourpop purple one is this going to be too much? No, I take it. This is Hippo. I usually don't use this that much. Okay, it's getting kind of hot here in the studio lights. Actually, it has been like some days now in Sweden that is like, it has been like summer. And everybody is like crazy about it. I'm not. <laughs> sure it's nice to not have to put on your winter jacket but like I want spring I don't want to go from winter to spring but I think tomorrow it's going to be cold again sometimes I feel so alone like not wanting super hot in summer I'm just going to take some setting spray and now I'm starting to think has this been annoying the whole video because you can see the studio lights in it okay, so for my low lash I will just go in with these two that I had in my crease and out here and I like can't get over how good this look is and I of course want to go in with something in my corner and I will take this space oasis the one that I have here. Okay, so for my waterline, what do I want to go in with? I have like these different purples and pinkish. Maybe I want to go in with. These three are from ColourPop. It is Piggy Bank, Cry Baby, and M Fifth Hour. And this is from NYX, and this is Shine Betch. I think I might go in with Crybaby. Not might, I will go in with Crybaby. Okay, and for my lips, I want to take Kaleidos Immersion. This is a purple one. I love this shade. And I just love the formula of their lip tonics. And you know what? That was all for this look. Maybe this is. I would have taken some a little bit more fun to this eyes oh. so this is my finished get ready with me look and I love this look so I did use Soray I know it's like exit on Spanish no Spanish France I think Soray I did study French for four years 15 years ago <laughs> sorry and Mardi Gras and Space Oasis and this Space Oasis I don't know but I haven't used this palette so much and now I don't know why so I think I will use this more and I really hope that you're liking that I'm using older palettes because as I said I haven't bought any makeup for this year when you will see this I think I have but still I haven't and I think it's a little bit hard to be like inspired with the things I have but I want to and like this it's like I'm rediscovering my own palettes but okay I think I'm just going to end this video I think this is getting pretty long and mainly I just wanted to update you on Astrid and I did that before like five minutes in in the video so yeah but i really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do and i think there might be a lot more get ready with me's now because like before i did a lot of first impressions but now i'm not buying 
makeup like I did last year, so I don't have that many first impressions to do. So I think it read with me are a good way to, but maybe like getting new followers. But do I really care? Not that much. But okay. I think there will be a lot more Get Red With Me's because I like to do them, I like to talk to you and I know that you like my Get Red With Me's. So yeah, if it is something, maybe I should do multiple looks with this palette. Maybe I should. Okay, I'm just going to stop talk now. I really hope you liked this video and I hope we'll see you in the next one. Bye!